Hello and welcome to this KB Plus screencast. In this screencast I'd like to show you how you can manage members of an organisation if you have uh, editor rights on that organisation. So um, I'm going to log into the KB Plus test system and I'm a member of Disk Collections. If we look under my profile we will see that I'm a member of GIST Collections and I have editor permission on that organisation. If I just scroll down here, you can see my existing membership say GIST Collections and I'm an editor. If you're an editor for an organisation, uh, your institution, then you can control uh, who else is a member uh, of your organisation. And you do this via the Manage menu. If I click on the Manage menu and look under GIST Collections, you'll see there's an option uh, to or to see my organization information. I'm going to click on that. And this screen has two parts. Firstly, this uh, front screen has some basic information about my organization and also has lots of links to other organizations that are linked to mine. In this case, um, all of these organizations are members of the uh, GIST Collections Consortium. Um, and also further down uh, I have information about packages and licenses and uh, subscriptions that are linked to my organization. Uh, for most organizations that will be a much shorter list. Um, the second part of the screen is to is this users link here and if I go and look at um, my users this is a list of all the users who uh, are currently members of um, the organization and you can see from here that I have some options. So if I want to stop someone being a member of the organisation, for instance, if they leave or uh, uh, and they no longer have access, then I can do two things. I can either revoke their permission, um, which means that they will appear on this list but no longer approved. So uh, if I revoke, for instance, Liam's permission uh, to just collections, then you can see that my status here changes to rejected. Uh, Liam can no longer access uh, the GIST collections information on the system, but I can still allow him back. So if I click allow, then he will now be uh, approved again. If I click delete link, uh, that would remove the user completely from the list and they would have to re-request permission to access the organization. So delete would be when uh, someone has absolutely left, revoke might be um, if, you, if you weren't sure or if you were uh, waiting to hear about something maybe uh, and you thought you might need to approve them at a later point. Um, but either of those will have the same effect in terms of your organization information. The person will no longer have access to that organization information. If we just look at what happens when somebody requests uh, access to the, um, to the organization for the first time, I'm gonna just switch over to a different account. And uh, this is uh, Jay Smith, and he or she is going to request access to GIST Collections as an editor member. And you can see here in my memberships now I uh, have a request that's pending. Now if I switch back to my previous account and just refresh this screen, we should see now that this uh, request from Jay Smith, uh, uh, he or she wants access to the GIST Collections organization and I can uh, allow that from here. So this is a pending request um, I haven't made a decision about it yet. At the moment, they don't have access. Uh, but if I know um, Jay Smith uh, and know that he or she should have access to um, the GIST Collections data, then I can allow that. And that's it. And if I got it wrong, obviously, uh, I realize I've made a mistake there, I can revoke that as well. Um, you can see that the difference here is that um, now I've revoked it specifically, it's rejected rather than pending. So, um, that's uh, managing users and anyone who is an editor member of an organization can manage the users for that organization. Thank you.